Hello guys, Meta just reported earnings this weekend. They just beat expectation, top and bottom. So the share the shareholders just love it, and the stock was up 15% in one day. So uh, since the beginning of the year, Meta stock has just doubled. That, that is incredible. So um, if you want to know what to do now, since the stock have been double this year uh, they are up almost 100 percent just here to year to date and uh, they are up uh, i believe 150 percent since the november bottom so if you want to know what to do with the meta stock now just just continue watching this video so let's talk about meta first i just want to congratulate um all the shareholders that old meta stock when the stock just hit bottom at uh, 90 dollars um, if you are like me i was um, i'm a meta shareholder and uh, the only regret i have uh, is just why i didn't uh, bought more of the stock at uh, last year so um, now we we can see the the stock was really cheap and um, meta returns to growth they have a really good business um, talking about the last report um, i didn't like it because they just um, continue to grow their reels and instagram are making money now uh, but they are continuing to um, to spending a lot of money on the metaverse and uh, that's really bad so that 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 this is um, keeping their net margins low they meta usually has like uh, 35 percent net margins 34 uh, last year they had just uh, 20% and this quarter their net margin was around 25% which is uh, an increase that's not bad maybe they can return to 30% margins that's my my base case and uh, what I hope for so um, basically half of my gains this year have uh, come from meta stock so they just double and um, now I'm um, questioning my my holding maybe maybe that they are maybe the stock increased a lot they are trading around fair value let's see so I'm questioning my holding now maybe a lot of you guys are doing the same so I hope this video help you so um, just doing a quick analysis just because I have already a video talking about Meta. Um, that's a really good company. Uh, they are growing a lot in the last year, which we like. They have high, high margins, high gross margins. Their net margins last year was around 20%, but in the last three or four years, it was above 30%. They are printing money. They have almost no debt. They can they have almost 40 billion in cash and they have only 10 billion on, on uh, long-term debt so they have net cash of around 27 and a half billion which is really good uh, their return on investor capital in the last years have been really good around 20 percent they have a really good moat uh, a wide competitive advantage so they have been free cash flow positive even when their margins are down and they are doing big investment like me like in the metaverse they are still printing money they are returning uh, a lot of uh, capital to the shareholders doing a lot of buybacks sometimes not uh, even good but uh, they have been buying back their shares a lot so uh, about fair valuations uh, as we can see I uh, just actualized my discounted cash flow. That's my my case. Uh, I'm still uh, doing the same assumptions I was doing uh, in the last video. If you want to see what uh, I believe our assumptions are, um, you should watch uh, my old video talking about Meta. So 
I just actualized the last um, uh, revenue projection from analysts and uh, actualized my model. So now I came with an intrinsic value, my value around $190. So Matt is trading around 240, uh, which is above our intrinsic value. So that's my value. I believe uh, if you want a return of 12 percent that's my value for the stock so um, if you want just a 10 percent which is the the mean for the market our intrinsic value would be around uh, uh, 240 dollars which is trading around fair value now so that's what uh, i look for in a stock for now so I believe that we can find better opportunities now. Um, I'm not uh, here to to give you some advice. I'm just sharing my point of view. So uh, Meta was um, turning uh, into a, a bigger position in my portfolio. Um, since the beginning of the year, Meta was uh, around 10% of my portfolio. I really believe in it. And with that, uh, increase in, on their stock price uh, it was almost 20 percent of my portfolio so i decide to trim it uh, you don't have to do that the stock is in a good momentum uh, the stock market is in a good momentum but since uh, uh, i was almost fully invest i, I decided to take to took some gains on meta because it's not normal for a stock to to double in just four months five months so i just took some gains and since now the stock price is above my intrinsic value um i believe that uh, i should trim it and uh, maybe wait for another opportunity to deploy my money so that was just just what i did and uh, i'm not uh, giving you advice you you always have to do your due diligence and, and, and decide so uh, since the meta stock increased a lot, I decided to took some gains and um, I still hold it. I just trimmed it a little bit. Uh, I still like the company and uh, I will be still. I, I still will be holding for the next month, years. Maybe let's see if the what the stock turns to be. It's not. I really like the company. It's a fantastic company, but. I believe that it's gonna be difficult to, to continue to increase their their revenue. So, and uh, since they are still uh, investing a lot on the metaverse, which I do not believe, uh, I believe that was the best uh, call at the moment. So, I will continue to um, to follow the stock and uh, hoping that the stock continues to go higher. Since I I still hold it and it's still a big position in my portfolio so um, I hope you find it useful that uh, that's my opinion and I hope you like the video so uh, I want to congratulate again the meta shareholders who hold the stock since the the stock was trading under a hundred dollars and I hope you didn't sell it at that time so congratulations guys and uh, See you in the next video and please subscribe. Bye guys.